Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Now today, I will be doing an old-fashioned empties video. I will be posting these videos, at least I have the thought of it, once in a while. Because even though I love my music and it's coming out soon, I'm so excited! So excited! Okay, I don't keep it down, keep it down. I don't want to, you know, blow out the speakers of the TV. Okay, I'm so <laughs> Sorry. So, coming out soon, I will give you details of that when it comes up. And I do plan to have, like, a Facebook and an Instagram Live. You can ask me questions, where to find it, details, blah, blah, blah. So, question A video I plan to have, so stay tuned. Now, today it will be, like, an empties video because you guys know I use a lot of products. And I'm sure you guys want to know, what do I actually use? Curious, huh? Hmm. So, I won't keep you waiting for too long. So just relax, put your hands behind your head, get a drink, you know, some water, maybe put some um, electrolytes in there, you know, good, healthy for the heart. Yes. I'm just saying, I'm saying, you read me, you read me? Oh, yes. Let's get on with what products have I been using? Actually, it's been gone. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Now, let's go on with the products. Now, I don't just have makeup products that I've gone through <laughs> for months, and I'm trying to collect them when I remember not to throw them away. You know, I will have some products that I will show pictures because I have thrown away, but I've used a lot. I'll get to it in a second. Okay, so what I decided to do when it comes to this empties videos, I use not just makeup stuff, but I use, you know, stuff, shower, because I, I kind of find that important, you know, hygiene and yeah because i had to kind of mention that because you'd be surprised you would be surprised so i'm going to start off with skincare and move myself up to makeup because well, essentially that's how we begin with the skin now you put on makeup so, so one my dove scrub now this is fairly new and it's called the dove exfoliator body polish i have it in pomegranate seed and shea butter this is essentially like the cover of it and I used like the last struggling, and I mean struggling, bit of it, like not too long ago for my shower. So, yeah, last bit of it like yesterday. Much loved and gone. Now, if you guys have seen my video that I did on scrubs, body scrub from, I believe it was from Fresh, to where they had that chocolate scrub, and even though I adore the smell, just the product itself just did not work. But this one is a drugstore. You can find it at Walgreens, Walmart, I'm sure. I bought mine at Walgreens. Um, you can buy a CVS, whatever fits your needs. And basically you rub it in, you know, you polish everywhere, except for your face. There should be a different script for that, but everywhere, neck down, neck down. And then you go in the shower, you take it off and your skin feels like absolutely beautiful but remember when you get out don't just leave your skin like that because you're fresh a lot of your dead skin is gone so put lotion everywhere as much as you can and you're set to go you feel so clean and so nice so that i've gone through they do have two different kinds i just like pomegranate so this is definitely a repurchase now looking at my products i have on this table i'm gonna move on to the face the next thing that i go through and this is like my second and third bottle is from Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia, Camellia Cleansing Oil. I cannot read. I'm so sorry. And Tatcha, if you're Tatcha fans, I, I apologize. I don't mean to butcher your name. I'm so sorry. But I go through this. This is like, yeah, I go through it. It comes in a pump, which is my one of my favorite features of this packaging. And basically, what this is, it takes off your makeup. So when I come home, I usually you know put my hair out of my face. I get water, I splash it on my face, and then I pour the liquid onto my hand. I do this, and then I start going at it in my face, like because it's a makeup remover essentially. You go in there, in there, but make sure it's wet. It works best when it's wet. And then after that, I have a little routine. I'm not like a normal person that goes and washes the face after no 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 i put that in okay fine with my hands first make sure it's nice and wet and then i use my clarisonic if you want more information about my clarisonic how i use it why i use it let me know comment below but i use my clarisonic while this is on my face i go ahead and i rub it in you know use my clarisonic everywhere even on my neck because it's very important especially since we expose the neck you know 
trying to get everything nice and clean and then I'll wash my face but I still don't trust myself on me being clean so I the next product that I do go through a lot and I threw it in the trash hmm slip my mind it will be the palms remover I put a picture of it right here with the price now I go ahead and use that in conjunction with the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. As you can tell, I have like a little bit left, just a little bit left that's basically gone. And I add it onto the ponds. The reason being, because yes, by itself it works, but I feel like with this, these two ponds and this is more effective. And then I go over it with my face. You know, so basically you take off the wetness and you take off a lot of the foundation and whatever else you have going on in your face. Then I clean my face with nice cold water, plain. Do I trust myself? No! Then I go through with the next product that I basically finished. It's the Fresh. The Fresh Soy Face Cleaner. For all skin types, rich in amino acids, gently cleanses face and eyes. I go through this so much. I've gone through so many bottles that I've lost count. I have lost count! So, and I put this all over my face. And then I wash my face. And then I take another pond. And just you know without the micellar and just go over it just to make sure everything's completely off my face to make sure i am clean because if any makeup is still stuck in your face just fyi that's how acne appears and i'm sorry i work really really hard to not have acne so even though you know we're human especially with that time of the month it's very very annoying anyways that's basically how that goes there. If you guys think these products are a little bit like, wait, huh? We've never heard that in your channel before. Actually, you have. I'm gonna link my skincare video below about the products I use to help clean. Like I said, I, I still use it. It is 2018. If you guys want an updated version of the products I use on my face to clean, let me know, comment below, because I do use different products and different things I use weekly on my face. So just, just let me know if you're interested in an update. Just, just let me know. And then once my face is nice and clean, I believe in having a toner. Now, just FYI, just, just a little tip. You do not have the money, like even to go to a regular drugstore to get a toner or Sephora or anything like that. Don't feel bad, honestly. It's just witch hazel. Just use pure witch hazel. I would say test a little bit of it in a cotton in like a section just to make sure you know you don't get an allergic reaction and basically that's the toner just FYI it's witch hazel but the toner I've gone through a lot this is different from the product I've had from my skincare from that video just FYI I know spoiler alert <laughs> it's the oh let's see if I can pronounce this Lange essential power skin toner for normal to dry skin and i believe they have a different type as well i just take this one because my skin is normal that's my skin type it's normal and as you can tell it's gone and it lasts for a long period of time because honestly you just use a little bit i do not eat a cotton ball because it absorbs the product and i'm sorry this is expensive and it's to be on my skin so i put a little bit in there and i just you know pat it all over just to make sure it's there it's nice and wet and i let it sit and dry so i've gone moved to two bottles of this oh and in case you do not have the micellar water that i've gone through the other one that i have tried and it's pretty good is the yes to coconut hydrate and restore ultra hydrating micellar cleansing water it looks like this i believe i bought this at target i believe and like I said, everything's basically gone. I've used it, yes. So either one of these will work. You don't have to use both. It's just, I just like trying stuff out. So just FYI. Then after that, I would usually depends on my top of day, if you would say. During the mornings, of course, I would just add my moisturizer, which was on my two videos ago that I did the watermelon face mask moisturizer. That's what I use currently that i use anyway so if you remember that video i'll link that video below in case you missed it i will use a different type of serum so like i said if you want an update on my skincare let me know comment below now for foundation the product i've gone through a lot and i actually did remember to keep these it's the born this way from too faced from warm nude obviously i've gone through once and two bottles gone <laughs> I love this foundation because it leaves you so nice and smooth except I think they need to change the name born this way uh, this is if, if you're looking for a foundation that makes you look natural this ain't it 
this is not it this is where you want things covered no redness no nothing showing just nice and even and full which you and me both know that is not natural this be your girl now as i indicated earlier i do use the clarisonic and the clarisonic you know you have to change his heads well this is i used to one already and this is the second one i've basically gone through this is you know you have to change it every three months right and recently i bought the sensitive head so i've gone through this as well and the last product that i went through because i clean my brushes but i do i try either once or two times a week <laughs> was like wait every two is that how you say it? every two weeks yeah every two weeks i do go and you know use the Shampoo, I use baby shampoo to clean my brushes. It smells good and does the job beautifully. But in between like every day, just to take off the color to clean, just to make sure I have enough brushes, I use the Sephora brand, the Dry Clean. It's the dry brush cleaning spray. And this works wonderful. This is, you can go to Sephora. I believe it's like 14 something dollars. It's very inexpensive. It works wonders. It lasts like about two weeks, at least how I use my makeup because I wear makeup five to six days a week. I usually like to keep my face, you know, give it a break for it to breathe and not wear any makeup like maybe on Sundays, sometimes two days a week, Saturday and Sunday, depends on what I'm doing. But, you know, for work, it's today I kind of, I'm filming right after work, I wear makeup. But this is what I use to clean my brushes. And so that's it. That's basically all the product I use in the past couple months. And um, I've gone through. I have very much gone through. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you. Thank you. Love you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you. But so much. And I'm, and I'm so hoping you're enjoying my videos. And if you want to see something that you think will make my videos better, I'm open to suggestions. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know. Let's start up a chat. Not only will that help me in the YouTube algorithms, go ahead and push the little like and the notification because I do post my videos different times. So I'm still trying to see what is the best time people actually view. Is it the afternoon, morning, midday? Let me know what time of day you actually want my videos to film. Let me know. Oh, and I did not do the disclaimer earlier. If you hear like a little gaming sound, if you listen, that is my brother playing video games, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Because I'm trying to load every Monday to Friday. But if I do miss a video, I'm so sorry. But if I miss it, just remember, it's for a good reason. A lot of times, because I'm working a lot, and a lot of my music, like this past Sunday, I just finished recording, just look what you've done. With mixing and redoing a couple lines and pitches. I'm so excited for everything to come up. I really hope you guys enjoy my music. Anyways, um, also please remember to follow me on all of my social medias at Instagram, Twitter, even here on YouTube at Enid Blue Singers, the same and every handout trying to make it very easy for you, as well as follow me on my IMDb page, Enid Lopez, and on my Facebook. I forgot to mention, I am so sorry, my, my brain's gone. At Enid Blue Singer, you can find me. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hmm, what video will I put up next? Hmm, what a thought. Will it be makeup? Will it be music? Will it be a review? Hmm, unpredictable. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy hanging out with you. And until next time, let's keep chatting. Comment below and we'll take it from there. Bye.